President Trump is continuing his war of words with Congresswoman Wilson and the media. He tweeted today, the fake news is going crazy with wacky Congresswoman Wilson, Democrat, who was secretly on a very personal call and gave a total lie on content. Let's bring in Mary Kissel, who's part of the Wall Street Journal's editorial page team and is a Fox News contributor. All right, we do, as John Roberts put it, we have so many places to take this. But, but there are a couple of important places. Uh, that Gold Star family is hurting. And the person that they lost in that ambush in Niger, uh, senators on the Hill, along with the defense secretary, getting ready to meet in the next 90 minutes to figure out what happened with that operation. Those are the news points. But you have, uh, I understand, Mary, some words to say about fake courage. Well, I think what you saw yesterday from Mr. Kelly, he's out of uniform now, uh, is real courage was real moral authority, standing up and saying to the American people, there are some things that are sacred in this country. And he wasn't just talking about the sacrifice of the fallen. You'll note later in his comments, Harris, he said, we used to have respect for women. We used to have respect for life. We used to have respect for the church. I think these comments are very important because today we see a lot of quote unquote fake courage, as I put it. Mm. You know, students on campus standing up against microaggressions, which are meaningless. Uh, you know, uh, uh, media players getting gotcha moments, trying to dissect every word of, you know, let's see if we can get Trump today. Instead of standing back and really looking at, you know, what are the real issues that matter to the American public? You know, such strong comments about where the moral compass lies. Let's talk about politics, though, Mary, for just a second. How do you take the oxygen out of this story and move on to those important points that we were talking about? And oh, by the way, for all those other Gold Star families, this now elevates this one family above all of the rest and we grieve with all of them of course we do and you know, the, the way that you take the oxygen out of this Harris is to let mr. Kelly's statement stand and not say anything else because I think he acted as the adult in the room as I said before he's got the moral authority to speak why is that not enough thing, well where because, are we where are we stuck? I think that look we we have a president who takes his politics very personally we know that that's who he is so he always feels the need to respond and the Democrats always want to bait him because they know he'll respond and you saw that just now with the tweet I think the president should have just let mr. Kelly's statement stand uh, and if he wanted to make a statement just say I agree with what he said we honor our gold star families period that's the end of it. You know, real quickly before I let you go, uh, does this, do you think, policy-wise, change presidents making those calls? Because they have a lot of ways that they can reach out to families. Not everybody gets a call. And we know from former presidents George W. Bush and Obama, unfortunately, there were so many more war dead at that point that a personal call was not always an option. No, it, look, it's always a tragedy whenever a president feels he has to write a letter to a family, a Gold Star family, or he has to take a call. That's a personal decision of how the president handles it, as Mr. Kelly mm -hmm. outlined yesterday. Uh, you know, my hope is that we don't get into a situation where we need to be making that many calls, writing that many letters. Well, amen to that. Yeah. I'm Mary Kissel, Wall Street Journal editorial board. Thank you very much. Good to see you.